Of course they are. Standards high here as well as we go to semi-final number two. There are two caps on the shooting line. One is flat and born in Yorkshire on the head of the Northern Irish athlete Patrick Houston shooting for Great Britain. The baseball cap is on Jack Williams, the 21-year-old. Newest member of the USA squad and a very promising athlete. Well, it's been a tremendous tournament for Patrick Houston to get to this stage. His first appearance in a Final Four, beating Mete Gazos of Turkey in the quarterfinals 7-3. But he's got a task on his hands here. Jack Williams has come through Violet of the Netherlands, Das, who is a stage winner this season, and Nespoli of Italy, who he beat 6-0 in the quarterfinals. His first Hyundai Archery World Cup of the season for the American going for his first medal. Qualified in the team for the USA at the qualifier here in Paris last weekend. Jack Williams starts with a nine. You don't have to go far to read articles about Patrick Houston either. He's drifted over onto the eight. He is talking bullishly ahead of the Tokyo Olympic Games with Great Britain qualified with a full quota of athletes. Both archers drifting out to the, the right-hand side here and Houston having to redraw. Yeah, he came straight through the clicker there, so back up to full draw again. put this one to bed but uh, Houston will want to continue his improvement with his third arrow well there's no real shape to any of those and Patrick Houston shooting a 24 which at this standard is not going to be good enough Jack Williams goes 2-0 up there's a, there's a lot of stuff written about Patrick Houston his uh, change of Music, we had a high tempo, ravey type music blaring in his ears at the Rio Olympic Games. Now he's a little bit more subdued and looking for something to calm down his, uh, his heart rate, basically, keep himself calm. And you mentioned something about his feet. Yeah, Patrick's um, doing a lot of testing around kind of no shoes and that sort of thing. But obviously in archery, we have to wear enclosed shoes. So they are the rules. Um, so he's gone for a very minimalistic shoe, um, which affects obviously the body from the ground up. Yeah, so it's all, it's all about having that grounding and the foundation for a shot. And you've talked about how important having a solid base is. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, as strong as that core and base can be, you know, that's supporting everything on top. Yeah, looking for any innovation that would help Patrick Houston. He needs a bit of help here. A 24 just isn't good enough. Trails two set points to nil, and we'll shoot first in the second set. <laughs> Much better start. There were indications of the improvement towards the centre for Jack Williams in the first set. That's a close one. Coach thinks it's a 10. Marked as a 9 for a measure, but I think the coach may well be right. Yeah, I'd say that one had hit the line. Door open opportunity for Pat Houston to get back into this one. Oh, and 
he's put it on the 6-7 line. So just like that, the opportunity came, wasn't taken, switches back over to the other side now. A 7 to draw level. 10 gives him the set points. 4-0 lead for Jack Williams. Nicky, we talk often about the opportunities, the consistency, but you know, it really is so critical that when you get a chance at this level, you take it. Yeah, you, you've got to take the points when you can, when they're open to you. Um, Patrick not sort of getting into the zone just yet and needs to just work on keeping all three of those in the middle. You know, Jack Williams is interesting one, really. He decided not to compete internationally so far this year. He's really put all his effort into making that US Olympic team, which, you know, the depth that they have there is incredible. So, you know, he's done that. He's come to this competition. They won their team spot earlier in the week as well, which has given them, you know, loads of confidence. Yeah, teaming up with Brady Ellison and uh, returning Jake Wookie. Yeah, I think the last time he came out was uh, London 2012, I believe. So he had a, a bit of a time away and come right back into the team. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon broke down for one Olympic cycle. Jack Williams, though, in that team and deservedly so. As Nicky said, qualified last weekend. This has been a double header in Paris. Houston also in the British team targeting two gold medals and that's what he needs right now and a good Reading pep cheer from his coach as well as he nails the 10 for just the second time out into the eight this time but uh, an eight from Williams means a glimmer of hope for Houston here oh and that's drifted out into the seven what's going on there I'm not sure he knows either there doesn't seem to be that much wind here big opportunity here for the points drifted out into the eight and that is enough. A 26 will give the two set points to Patrick Houston. But a bit of an anomaly here with those first two arrows. Drifting out to the left. Fixed it a little bit. Coming back into the 29 for a 24. But very curious, Nicky. Very curious indeed. I mean, there's a tiniest bit amount of wind, isn't there? Right to the left, I think, coming in. But I'm just not sure that's enough really to move things so much. Sometimes I keep talking about these tall feather flags. They move quite easily in a little breeze and sometimes that can give too much information to the archer aim off too much perhaps so they've just got to keep their eye on that but I think ultimately aiming in the middle is a good place to go Richard Priestman the head coach from Archer GB acting as the agent here so we talk about this so you see Houston here he shot a 10 uh, to get him underway in this set. It was enough of the 26 to get the two set points. So you say it's not the wind, and I, t I tend to agree with you. There's not there's not really very much wind at all here. Uh, if it's blowing, it's blowing very, very gently as well. So it's not going to affect the arrow. So it, it, it's either aim or an error. On that last shot, you just saw him just pushing that bow arm to the right a little bit as if he knew it was going to go left. So he could have been aiming a little bit there. Right-handed archer going left, usually a little bit of release error potentially. Well, he's fought his way back into this Patrick Houston from Great Britain. Was 4-0 down. And started with a 10 in the last set. Starts with a 10 in this one. Back in the centre for Jack Williams as well. This semi-final for a place in the gold medal match against Brady Ellison. You can see some bit of nerves, bit of movement. Hasn't had the opportunity to shoot under pressure like this for a while. Longer hold here for Jack Williams. Yep. <sighs> but it's in the X. 
Patrick Houston needs a 10 here just to put some pressure on Jack Williams. And he's drifted out into the eight. We haven't seen three consistent arrows from Patrick Houston in this match. Jack Williams just needs an eight to win here and go through to the final against Ellison. And an eight is what he gets for a 28. He did just enough for the 6-2 victory. Patrick Houston not quite consistent enough, but signs looking promising for the British archer who has talked about Tokyo 2020 as an opportunity that he sees he's got a realistic chance of winning two gold medals. And will need to step up the consistency on the shooting range in Japan. But he will be back shooting for the bronze medal here. Jack Williams had a wobble. He did have a wobble there uh, in that match, but he's made it through to the final. And it will be a gold medal match with the stars and stripes all over it as Ellison takes on Williams. Houston first up against Federico Musilesi of Italy for the bronze medal here in the men's recurve. 